Hey YouTube, this is Jen, your pudgy picker. Got a haul for you. Bought some things Monday at my half price thrift store. And a couple things I got from a actual garage sale on Thursday. There was two garage sales close to me. Big deal. <laughs> so now that the weather's warming up, hopefully we'll get a whole lot more. And we'll see how that goes. Okay, let me show you what I got. First, I got this real cool uh, decorative medallion. It's uh, like on a stand. It is metal, interesting enough. Yeah, it's like a pressed metal, and then it's painted. Interesting, huh? I kind of liked it. I was thinking about putting it in my living room, and my husband saw it, and he goes, Oh, are you going to sell that? Or are you going to keep that? And I was like, uh... And he goes, sell it. <laughs> so, yeah, he didn't care for that too much. Um, I believe that was $6.99, and then it was half, so it was $3.50. And I, as you see, I got another lampshade. Um, I've now sold two of my 35 millimeter uh, lamps that I've made. Uh, check my older videos. Uh, and see if you haven't seen those yet. Uh, the last one was a bigger one, and it sold for $35. So, yeah, I was very thrilled with that, and I have to make another one. So, um, I got this drink shaker. I believe it was like 50 cents. That was at a garage sale. Um, so, essentially, this, all this stuff here... Uh, and these two frames I got for, I think, $12, 12 or $15. Um, so I got this really pretty sequenced gold purse. It has a handle. I just tucked it down in there. Um, if you don't like my cooking, lower your standards. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Enough said. Um, how about kitchen help needed? I like that one too. That one's uh, made out of wood. Um, got some cute frames. This one is like that, uh, almost like a silicone rubber. And it's got flip flops. Isn't that cute? Let's get that one. This one. Uh, it's got seashells. Isn't that cool? And this one, I, I'm going to show you. I did two craft items with this and this is pretty much what I used with it these are not real expensive frames I believe this one is 8 by 10 and I didn't know but document size frames are eight and a half by 11 did you know that I didn't know that <laughs> uh, these are really pretty art double matted black and white um, it's like an architectural thing. Black frame, square. It's real nice. Um, and these, he never hung them. Um, I bought both of these. This one still has the cardboard uh, corner uh, protectors. And as you saw on the other one, it still has this thing covering the uh, sawtooth hanger. So that was, these were never hung. This is another architectural one. Black and white does really well. So these will go out to my antique mall. Um, I got a grab bag for, I believe, $1.50 or $2. And it had, I threw out some of the stuff because some of them they just bundle up, of course, just to get rid of it. But uh, this had a whole thing of uh, scratch paper. This is like a little uh, neoprene. A zipper container, you could use that for whatever. I'm sure I'll find something. Um, with my crafts and such, and some things I buy do not have the hanger like these. These are the sawtooth ones. Uh, these have the nails in them so that you can nail them onto a frame. Or if I'm hanging something real light, um, like some of my craft items, I will just use like glue and just glue them on the back. Um, this is a uh, plate, uh, plate hanger kit, and I come across really cool plates occasionally, and this is a nice way to display them. Um, 
because if they're laying flat in my in my antique booth you can't really see them and they're not as appealing and then if you hang them up a lot of people hang plates now um, and that was a pretty you know pretty good price uh, these I'm probably just going to put with our craft items out at the uh, antique mall it's a I believe seven set of um, different uh, style, uh, what do you call them, brushes. Can't think of the right words today. Brain's not working. Um, this latch hook kit was $1.99. It's missing the, the shrink wrap plastic, but it is all there. Usually don't buy latch hook kits very often because they don't really sell unless they're something like this where they're unique. If they're flowers or puppies or any of that stuff, I don't do a lot of them. So this one I'm actually going to look up and see what it is on eBay. And in the back it has the canvas, uh, instructions, and I looked. See, if you get something like this and it looks like it's new, uh, if there's an instruction sheet in there, it should tell you how many uh, bundles of yarn that there are in it. And it said four, and there were four in there, so I knew it was complete. So that was $1.99, then it was half. Now my craft project, I want you to see these, tell me what you think. Go where you've never been. Now I'll tell you what I did with this. I saw this somewhere, it might have been like Pinterest. I have an old atlas I got real cheap at a garage sale. So what I did is I cut the page 8.5 by 11 to fit into my inkjet printer. And then you come up with different travel sayings and put them on there and then frame it. Isn't that cool? I don't know how much I'm going to ask for these, um, but they really turned out nice. How about, I haven't been everywhere, but it's on my list. This is a very simple idea that you can do. Another idea I can give you, and I've tried this before, but I haven't really made any to frame is if you get an old uh, encyclopedia or dictionary, uh, tear out the page, put it in the inkjet printer, and you can do like an old-timey uh, black and white photo on it. And that turns out really cool too. I've done that before. So just a couple ideas. Um, probably gonna put, I'd say four or five bucks on these. I didn't pay much for the frame. Uh, 50 cents I got for the, uh, for the Atlas. So, yeah, that's pretty much all profit. So we'll see how those do. I have a couple other. And what I did for the travel sayings, because I wanted it, you know, because it's on the map, is just go on Google and put in travel quotes, and you'll have more than you ever can imagine. So try that out. That's pretty cool, isn't it? It's amazing what you can do with just stuff laying around. Uh, yes, I got more fabric. Um, this one was 99 cents, so it was 50 cents. It's kind of a watercolor batik. This one's kind of interesting. It's like a whole bunch of itty bitty little squares. Um, this one, all these look new. You can tell by the raw edge they've never been washed. Um, this one was 99 cents, so it was 50. I'm thinking there's probably three quarters of a yard to a yard on those two. Um, this one's got little blue houses. That one is also 50 cents. Um, this one, there's probably, I would say, maybe two yards of this one, just kind of a blue watercolor. Uh, this one was uh, $3.99, so it was two. This looks like the blue one, but it's black and a tan color. There's probably two to three yards on here, uh, two ninety nine, so it was a dollar fifty. Now these two are uh, are the panels where you can make a vest, I believe, yeah. And I think each of these were a dollar ninety nine, so they were a dollar each. Panels do okay. You just can't find them as much. Uh, if you find the panels that are like uh, pillows or a shaped pillow, those do pretty good on eBay. So keep your eye open for those, but um, these were a very good price, so I couldn't really pass those up. 
So that's all I got this week. I hope you enjoy my small haul. Now that summer's coming and garage sale season's picking up, I will be going garage sale on my, on usually on Thursday, that's when I go. And also coming up is I have an interview with the owner of the Craft and Antique Co-op, which is the name of the antique mall that I have a booth at with my sister. And we'll be doing that in the next week or so, so keep your eyes open for that video. Um, I'm very interested to uh, interview the owner and get some advice for any of those of you who are interested uh, in possibly opening up a uh, booth at an antique mall, what it takes and what you can do to succeed, and that will be a lot of fun. So keep your eyes open for that. Until then, when I see you next, happy picking. Bye!